everyone welcome back to my channel what is 1012 what is factorial and how we can do without using calculator so the factorial means when we write n factorial the factorial means we write 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by so on and the second last number should be n minus 1 and the last number will be n so when we write suppose the 5 factorial means I have to write 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 and multiplied by 4 and then last number will be 5. Or even you can write the 5 factorial is equals to 5 times 3 times 4 times 3 times 2 times and 1. The same way the n factorial we can write like at, like we can move backward. Like n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by so on. This is called the n factor and we move till 2 into 1. So moving to this part, first question number 1. So we have without using calculator. So 7 part a is 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And when we write in the denominator 5 factorial, we write 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. There is also the other way to write this, like 4 factorial. And when we write in denominator, we can write 5 into 4 and just 4 factorial and 4 and 4 cancel out. The answer is coming 1 upon 5. So you can also check it here. The 4, 3, 2, 1 cancel by this and the answer is coming 1 upon 5. Moving to part B. In second part, we have 8 factorial. So 8 into 7 into, I will move till 6 factorial because in the denominator we have 6 factorial. So it's cancel out and answer is coming 56 and we have done. Moving to part C now. In C part, we have 10 factorial. So in 10, we can write 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this 6 factorial is cancelled out then you can also do one thing here like 4 times 2 is 8 is cancelled out 3 times 1 and 3 times 3 and you have now 10 into 3 into 7 and the answer is coming 2 1 0 and we are done now the main important part is question number 8 is how we can work without using calculator as we cannot use the calculator for an n term so question number eight part a n minus one factorial is divided by n factorial as i've told you this after n the next term will be n minus one n minus two n minus three number so this can be n multiplied by n minus one and I will stop here and this n minus 1 is here and this will be cancel out and your answer will be only 1 upon n and we are done. Even we can check the answer this is 1 upon n is we write. So part b now in b part we have n minus 3. So what we can do we will not uh, expand this we write n n minus 1 n minus 2 and till n minus 3 and write factorial here so that this n minus 3 factorial will be cancelled out we have only 1 upon this we can multiply or you can even write like this and this we have done i think so and that's the right answer moving to part c now in c part we have n factorial squares so we can write n factorial times and in the denominator, we have n minus 1 and n minus 2 factorial. So here we can write n, n minus 1, n minus 2. And here we can write n and n minus 1 factorial. Because in the denominator, we have n minus 1 and n minus 2. So n minus 1, n minus 2, this is cancelled by this one and n minus 2 cancelled by this one. So we have just only now n, n minus 1 and this n will become n square. 
I think so. The right answer is answer right. Is this one? So this was a very simple way how we can use factorials without using calculator. Thanks for watching my video and have a nice day.